my name is uh, Faustin Tamu Shobora. I am from Rwanda and currently I am a PhD student in educational study at Halbert. We were eight children in our family and I was the seventh child. My parents were worshipping the ancestors, so the religion was the African traditional religion. Actually, my dad was priest for the village, and for reasons I don't know, my dad had chosen me to be his heir in sacrificing to ancestors. We would slaughter a goat, and I was the one to lay hands upon the goat before it was slaughtered. We would roast some meat and put some meat in small huts behind our main house. And so I and some other young boys would see when dad was not around, would sneak in the small huts and eat the meat. And so when dad would come back and find the meat gone, he would call him and say, son, come and see, the ancestors have eaten the meat. Before I was ordained to the priesthood of the ancestors, my dad passed away. And so some missionaries came and they preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. They explained that it's not the ancestors who are between man and God, but Jesus Christ. And so my mom gave her life to Jesus Christ. She became a Christian. So she raised me in the ways of the Lord, but I didn't have a personal relationship with the Lord. When I examined my life, I found that although I was going to be baptized into water, I was not a new creation. That day, I gave my life to Christ. It was on December the 19th, 1979. Now, it's amazing to say that for Stan, who was being prepared by my dad to be the priest of the dead spirits, God prepared me and changed me to be the priest of the living God. When the genocide took place in April 1994, my wife and I and our four children were in Kigali. It was a hard time. For 26 days, we could not move out of the house. We were hidden under the bed for the fear of being killed. And when we fled from the place where we were hidden, some of the people who fled with us were killed. I remember when the militia stopped our car and they only identified my wife and said, show us your identification card. And I said, probably my wife is going to be killed. But I strongly believe that God spared my life and that of my family for a great purpose. And that's why today, when we are serving the Lord, we do it with joy. And I want to tell you that I have grown through suffering and I know that God allows suffering for a great purpose. And the purpose is to mold us into vessels that He can use for His glory. God made it clear that He was calling me to Biola University. I've enjoyed my studies at uh, Talbot because it's really, for me, a continuation of my ministry. I would travel to train pastors in issues about forgiveness and reconciliation. I know that Bayola has a vision to impact the world and I'm very excited that many young people are going out. I know that when they go, they come back transformed and their faith increase. These are the people who will become missionaries, but these are also the people who will become advocates of the Ministry of Reconciliation in the world.